In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this spiralized granny square. So you will need your selected yarn. I'm using paint box Simply Aran. I'll leave the details in the description box below, so just underneath this video. I'll also leave a link to the blog post where you can find all of the information, including the written pattern. So if you prefer to read along your patterns or after you've become a little bit more confident, you can go ahead and take a look at that. But I have used three colors. I would recommend that you use two colors and then a neutral, so like this um, white here. I am using a five and a half millimeter for my project, but obviously you can go up and down depending on your yarn and your tension. You'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and at least four stitch markers. As always, if you like my videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, you'll get notifications of when my new videos go live, and also don't forget to share with your friends. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, you're going to have three colours. These two colours here are A and B, and then your neutral colour we're actually going to be using twice. So what you want to do here is get a bobbin or just separate some yarn so that you have two sets of your neutral colour. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I usually just wind mine like this if I, don't, if I know that I don't need too much. Uh, but go ahead and separate that out. And then we're going to be starting off by using colour A. So for me, that's this colour here. And we're going to start off by doing a magic ring. So I do have a slower step-by-step -step tutorial for the magic ring. But just to refresh your memory, if you are unsure, you want to take the tail end of your uh, yarn and then wrap it around your fingers like so, so that you have two posts here. You want to take your crochet hook and go under the first one and then pull the second one through and twist your hook round. Grab the yarn and pull through and there we have our magic circle. So for the first section of this, we're going to be using this color and we're going to be doing a double crochet, a half treble, and then three treble crochets. Remember I'm talking in UK terms. In the US, a double crochet is a single crochet. So we'll just do that now. So double crochet. Then we'll do a half treble, which is a half double in the US. Yarn over, insert into the magic circle. Yarn over, pull through, we'll have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on our hook. And then we'll do three treble crochets. Treble crochet is double crochet in the US. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook. And yarn over, pull through two. So that's one treble. Two. and three. So at this point we're actually going to drop this colour. So you can either pull up a loop, make sure it's a, a larger loop and take your hook out or if you're worried that this is going to um, come undone or just to be extra safe, you can pop a stitch marker into that stitch just to keep that uh, working loop secure. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. I'll leave this stitch marker in for now, but usually I tend to just pull up a loop. We're then going to work on the opposite side of this magic ring. So we want to take our color B. So this is this color for me. And I'm going to make a slip knot on my hook. I'm going to pick up the magic ring, the magic circle, whichever you call it. I'm just going to cinch it in slightly and then I'm going to slip stitch onto that magic ring, like so. So now I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done with my colour A. So it's double crochet, half treble, and then three treble crochets. One, two, and three. 
I'm going to do the same with this colour, pull up a loop or mark with a stitch marker and I'm just going to cinch that in a tiny bit more. We're now going to be working between colour A and colour B and we're going to be using our colour C and then we're going to go ahead and make a slip knot on our crochet hook and then we're going to connect in between those two colours. Now what we're going to be working into is this colour B. So we're going to do four double crochets into colour B. So we'll do the first one into this very first stitch, double crochet, that's one, two, I'm just going to bring that out of the way, three, and four. I'm going to pull up a loop, drop that, place a stitch marker if you prefer, and then I'm going to twist my work around. So this can get a little bit fiddly, but as long as you keep stopping and making sure that your yarn is untangled, so for example, moving those two over that side, you should be absolutely fine. So let's take this second colour B, uh, sorry, colour C, and make a slip knot. and then we're going to attach it between colour B and colour A with a slip stitch. And then now we're going to be working into colour A with these four double crochets. So double crochet, double crochet, here's my third one, and the fourth one and pull up a loop. So now we've finished the initial centre circle. Now if I just bring this in, obviously it looks a little bit different right now, but if you pull on your magic ring, it's going to cinch in that centre circle. And now we're ready to work on building this spiral. So I'm going to go back to colour A. So I'm just going to twist for now. My colour A is working nice, it's free here. So that's the main thing that you want to look for when you're working with that particular colour, that that colour is nice and free as you're working. I'm going to take out this stitch marker and then I'm going to do two treble crochets into this first stitch. So that will be the first double with the white. So double crochet, sorry, treble crochet, and then treble crochet. And then another two treble crochets into the next stitch. One and two, followed by one treble crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to twist this round because now we're going to do exactly the same with colour B and colour B's um, is nice and free, ready to use. I'm going to insert my hook and then we're going to do exactly the same. So if this first round is a little bit twisted, you can just count backwards, one, two, three, and four. So this is the first stitch that we want to work into. So I'm just going to find that here. Sometimes that very first one might be a little bit tricky. Well, there we go. Treble and treble into that same stitch. Two trebles into the next stitch treble and treble and then one treble into the next two stitches one and then two 
if you are working with your loops hanging out, I don't know if you can see here, but I've just actually taken that loop and popped it on my finger to keep it out of the way. Uh, but you might find a way that suits you best. It's, it's totally personal preference. So I'm going to take this out and now we're going to be working with both of the color C's. So the way that we'll work throughout this entire circle is we'll do the same with color A and B and then the same with both the color C's. So I'm going to pick up color C and with color C we're going to start off by doing two half trebles into the next stitch. So it's three loops on the hook and pull all the way through. That's one and into the same stitch half treble, two trebles into the next stitch, one and two, one treble into the next three stitches, one, two and three, followed by two trebles into the next stitch, one and two. Pull that out. You want to pause the video, rotate your work and do exactly the same stitches that you've just done with the white on the opposite side. So rewind if you need to, but you'll do two half trebles, two into the next stitch, two trebles into the next stitch, one treble into the next three stitches, followed by two treble crochets. So pause the video and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so now you've done that second side of the white, we're then going to go back to color A again. So I'll demonstrate color A and then you can repeat the same for color B. So what we're going to do now is start off with two trebles into the next stitch. One and two. And then two trebles into the next stitch. One and two. We'll do one treble and then two trebles into the next two stitches. So two trebles, one and two, and then two trebles again, one and two, and then pull up your loop or mark with a stitch marker. Rotate the work and do the same with your colour B and then meet me back in just a moment. Okay, so now you've completed your colour A and B, we'll move on to doing colour C, both sections of colour C. So again, I'll demonstrate this side and then you can pause the video and repeat the same on the opposite side. So we're going to do two treble crochets into the next stitch, one and two followed by one treble into the next two stitches. So treble into the next stitch, treble, and then two treble crochets into the next stitch. One and two, and then pull up your loop or mark your stitch. So go ahead, pause the video, rewind if you need to, but repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay, so now back to color A and B. We're going to do two trebles into the next stitch, one and two, followed by four trebles, one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do two trebles into the next stitch one and two. However, we're just going to grab a stitch marker and then I'm going to go ahead and mark that first treble. So go two stitches back and mark that first treble. And that is going to be the corner. So we're going to pull up a loop and then you're going to go ahead and repeat the same with color B. So uh, rewind the video if you need to, and then meet me back for color C. 
Okay, so now we've done colour A and B and we've marked two of our corners. I'm now going to go back to colour C and here what we're going to do is do one treble into the next two stitches. Treble into the next stitch, treble. Two trebles into the next stitch, one and two. And this time we're going to mark that second treble. like so. And then we're going to do a half treble, a double and a slip stitch. We can go ahead and snip off the yarn and pull that out. So we have another corner there. You're going to pause the video, repeat the same on the opposite side, and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so now we're going to be working with colour A and colour B one last time. And for this, we're going to do two half trebles into this next stitch, one and two. Double crochet into the next stitch, followed by slip stitch. And then you can go ahead and fasten off and you can repeat the same on the opposite side. So pause the video and then come back and I'll show you how to add the border. Okay, so now we have completed our spiral and it's time to add the border all around the edge. Obviously you could leave it like this if you wanted to. These sections here are showing you where the corners are. So if you wanted to connect just like this, for example. However, I've added uh, another round just to square it off even more and add that border. Um, what I want you to just double check is that you have nine stitches between each side and it's really important that these stitches where you have this slip knot, if you just pull it across, where whenever you're wor working into there, you're not working into the slip stitch itself, you're going to be working into the stitch just below. So for example, when we're working across here, we'll go into the stitch one, two, three, and four, and then the next stitch, instead of going into the slip stitch, we'll go into the stitch just below. So that'd be five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So just bear that in mind as you're going through. If you get that incorrect and add a stitch or miss a stitch here, it will throw off the pattern. So let's now go ahead and add this border. You want to take your color C, and create a slip knot. And we're going to start off in one of those corner stitches. So I'll start off here, join with a slip stitch, and we're going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, and four. This chain four classes as a treble crochet and a chain one. We're also going to do another treble crochet into that very same corner stitch. So that's a uh, chain four and treble crochet. I'm going to do one treble crochet into the next nine stitches. That's one, two, three, four. Remember this next stitch goes into that stitch below five. I'm actually leaving my tail end out here because I'll be sewing it into the colour B as I do the finishing touches to this square. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And then, as I say, you should now be at the corner again. So in the corner, we're going to do treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet. 
and then you're going to repeat that all the way round. So one treble into the next nine stitches. So this, this side will be slightly different. We'll do a treble crochet and then another treble crochet. And this is where we get to the slip stitch. So we just work into the stitch below like so. And then continue across. So it's nine trebles across the side treble crochet, chain one, treble crochet into the corner. You're going to go across the edge again, corner, and then work the last edge. Once you meet yourself at the stitch marker, come back and I'll show you how to finish off your square. Okay, so now that you've worked your way all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning chain four, and then go ahead and fasten off. Just going to remove these stitch markers and then all you have left to do is to sew in your ends so i use the rule of three i'll leave a link in the description box and in the blog post to that video if you're unsure of how to do that but basically i go back and forth three times now i would you i would take this um, tail end through this color um, and through all the corresponding colours just to make sure that it's nice and neat on the front. This square would also really benefit from being blocked. So obviously you could take that chain one space and just block it and if you are making a blanket from lots of these then you can make sure that they are also all the same size. Okay, so that is the spiralized granny square. As I say, I'll leave a link in the description box below to the blog post where you'll have all of the information that you need, including the free written pattern. As always, if you like my videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Leave me a comment in the comment section and don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.